the glider subcommittee met uh, at Oripe before the uh, uh, World Glider and World uh, Advanced Glider Championship. And uh, we had a total of nine votes. And uh, we looked at all the uh, proposals that had been submitted uh, directly for gliders. And we also looked at all the other proposals that were uh, directed at the rules subcommittee and the judging subcommittee that had at least a potential bearing on gliders. I have listed all the proposals we dealt with, also those that we rejected, and uh, I want uh, just to uh, point out uh, one issue that we discussed uh, very intensively, and that was the issue of uh, known sequence selection. And uh, I want, just want to underline again that the Glider Subcommittee rejects the suggestion that Glider known proposals should also be dealt with by the known analysis working group. Because we think it is an unnecessary duplication of effort that we add glider aerobatics expertise to that uh, existing group rather than let those people who are experts on glider aerobatics, i.e. the subcommittee members, deal with that question. Otherwise, I do not have to add anything to my report and uh, I, I leave it open for the vote. Mike, do you have a... I think what Manfred has asked is for the entire report to be acted on at once. However, I would like to uh, request that we uh, deal with proposal uh, number two, which is on page two of the report, which has to do with the ban of the swift glider for advance, that we deal with that separately. Uh, but the rest of the uh, proposals I have no problem with dealing with as a package, but I think that should be a, a handled and discussed separately. Uh, then I would like uh, you, Manfred, to enlighten the plenary a little bit about the, that proposal. Yes, um, the, uh, this has been the second year that this proposal uh, has come up. Uh, it, uh, it was twice submitted uh, from Poland and uh, the idea is that, as you probably know, there are basically three glider types which uh, are able to compete on an international scale. And that is uh, first the, the swift single-seater, the Fox two-seater, and uh, the SZD-59 single-seater. All three gliders are from Polish manufacture. And uh, apart from the SZD-59 and the Fox, uh, the Swift, uh, which are still in production, the Swift production ended in 1995 and uh, a total of 30 such gliders are still in flyable condition worthwhile. And the Polish proposal was to save these remaining Swift, uh, Swift gliders for the unlimited glider aerobatics and not to use them up uh, in all competitions, i.e. unlimited and advanced. Naturally, I understand that this 
ban, should it be approved, uh, would only be uh, valid for international, for the international competition scene and not uh, for the nationals. Uh, nations naturally will be free to uh, follow this proposal or not. So uh, the question is, do we want to introduce a restriction on glider types available for the advanced world championships in the future? And the proposal uh, uh, was amended by the subcommittee to go into effect by 2016, as of start of the season 2016. Any questions to that? So that is you the proposal from the subcommittee, the glider subcommittee, to support the Polish proposal. Well, the, uh, the proposal was voted on in the subcommittee and uh, was agreed with uh, six to three votes and no abstention. Okay. We open the floor for discussions. I have uh, Mr. Makula. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I think uh, you are a little bit, uh, okay, the real reason which we were discussing on the glider subcommittee was to ban SWIFT from the advanced category, to have it only for unlimited, to force more pilots to go to unlimited. Uh, I, I'm not saying that it was the only reason, but this was the main reason discussed, uh, if I remember correctly. And uh, so I think it should be also mentioned here in this discussion. Italy has something. Do we have a microphone for Italy? Uh, in my opinion, uh, the ban, the exclusion of the Swift uh, in uh, 2016 is uh, premature. We have time to uh, decide with more elements. Uh, in the advanced category, the SWIFT has not uh, a particular advantage. The, um, in this uh, World Championship, one has set the 5-9 uh, and not the SWIFT. Uh, the advantage of the SWIFT is that it is uh, uh, the most, I think, uh, safe glider. And uh, I think that uh, uh, um, the ban of the SWIFT is uh, against the development of the advanced category for this uh, uh, reason and of the all uh, uh, acrobatic sport. Uh, if the Swift end his life, uh, and uh, there are many uh, possibilities, it's uh, possible to extend the life of the Swift in some, or to extend and have experimental Swift. But uh, it's also possible that there are new gliders. Uh, this is the uh, law of free uh, marketing. Uh, it's not of uh, Chiva the, um, uh, to do uh, something in this uh, direction. So I think that, uh, is, uh, uh, that, is, uh, that the owners of the Swift uh, may be free to uh, fly in advanced category or in a limited. Thank you very much, uh, Sweden. I think um, one of the reasoning behind this was that we wanted to have more pilots in unlimited, and uh, it's. Uh, I agree that the Swift is not a big benefit in advanced, but it is a big benefit in unlimited. So if you ban it in advanced, more SWIFT will be available for purchase. 
and many more pilots can move up from advanced to unlimited. So I think this was one of the reasoning, so we don't forget it, that this was a possibility to have Swiss, more SWIFTs available in unlimited. And uh, actually, the, both the S theta and the FOX is quite capable of doing the advanced sequence. Of course, it's not a good thing to force people to do something, but I think to have the uh, two-year memorandum so it would be possible for people to change ownerships of this aircraft in an orderly way in a couple of years. That's what also an important part of this suggestion, so it would not have an immediate effect. So in a couple of years' time, the people that want to go uh, unlimited could buy SWIFTs. That's one of the reasoning behind this. Thank you. Do we have any more input in this question? So let, then let's vote about this one. We have a proposal from GASK that actually came from Poland, and that is to ban uh, the SWIFT to fly in the advanced category and that would also in that case a uh, little explanation make it more easy for more pilots to fly in unlimited. Uh, we had this year 19 pilots in unlimited and 14 advanced. So I would like to uh, first ask uh, who are in favor of agreeing with the proposal from GASC to ban the SWIFT from advanced. Please lift your hands. Fourteen. Fourteen and against. Six. Six against abstentions. Four, five. Five. Yes, five. Thank you very much. In that case, uh, it is yes, Manfred.